Hi, and welcome to Storytime at your library. I'm Mary from Marino Library, and my story for you today is Danny's Sick Trick by Breno Brady Dawson and illustrated by Michael Connor. It's published by The O'Brien Press. Danny's Sick Trick. Don't forget to watch out for the panda. Mum and Dad were ready. Little Susie was ready. But Danny wasn't ready. I'm not going to Auntie Bessie's house, he yelled. No way. Dad got cross. Auntie Bessie and Uncle Tom have invited us to see their new house, he said. And you're going. Now get your runners on, said Mum. Fast. Danny thought of a trick. His runners were beside his bed. He quickly kicked them under the bed. I can't find my runners, he shouted. We'll have to go to Auntie Bessie's another day. Mum stuck her head around the bedroom door. Where are your other shoes, Danny, she said. The nice shiny black ones. Never, said Danny. He dived under the bed and fished out his runners. I found them, he cried. Danny's runners were very dirty. He wiped them on his jumper. Susie was watching him. She was putting her teddy on her new pink potty. Danny grabbed Susie's teddy. He hid it in the wardrobe. Susie began to scream. Wah! What's wrong now? yelled Dad. Susie can't find her teddy, said Danny. Susie cried and cried. Mum says we can never go anywhere, anywhere without that teddy, said Danny. Wah! cried Susie, louder than ever. You and Mum can go to Auntie Bessie's, said Danny. I'll mind Susie. Dad looked under Danny's bed. He looked in Danny's school bag. He did, then he looked in the wardrobe. He found Susie's teddy. No more tricks, Danny, he said. Now hurry up or we'll be late for dinner. Dinner, cried Danny. He almost fell into the pink potty. Not dinner. We're not going to Auntie Bessie's for our dinner. Oh no. Auntie Bessie was a terrible cook. The smells in her kitchen were awful. She liked to cook pig's feet and cabbage. I'm not hungry, said Danny. You go, I'll mind the house. Mum and Dad were not listening. They were talking about how to get to Auntie Bessie's new house. I've drawn a map, said Mum. It's in the car. Danny, said Dad, you take Susie to the car while we lock up. Danny sat in the car with Susie. He was feeling very cross. Mum and Dad were locking up the house. The map was lying on Mum's seat. If we didn't have that stupid map, thought Danny, we'd never find Auntie Bessie's new house. Then Danny had a wonderful idea. He grabbed the map. He tore it into bits. He tore the bits into smaller bits. Susie laughed. Just then, Danny saw Mum and Dad coming. He began to pick up the bits of the map. If Mum and Dad see these, he said, I'm in big trouble. Danny looked around for somewhere to hide the bits. Sometimes he put his rubbish down the back of his seat. Mum and Dad never looked in there. They were getting nearer. Danny picked up some of the bits. He pushed them down the back of his seat. Mum was at the car door and Danny still had some of the map in his hand. Mum opened the car door. Quick as a flash, Danny stuffed the rest of the map into his mouth. Mum searched for the map. She looked on her seat. She looked in her bag. She couldn't find it. We'll have to ring Auntie Bessie again, said Mum. Mum and Dad went back into the house. 
Danny spat out the map. Susie started spitting too. It's not funny, said Danny. My trick is not working. Danny thought of dinner. I can nearly smell that cabbage, he groaned. And it smells sick, 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 sick. Then Danny had another great idea. He put his hand down the back of the seat. He could feel stale crisps. He could feel an old apple core. He could feel Susie's broken biscuits. I could eat all this rubbish, Susie, said Danny. That would make me really sick. Then I couldn't go to Auntie Bessie's house. Danny smiled to himself and reached down. He put some of the rubbish into his mouth. It tasted awful. Yuck, said Danny. Yuck, yuck, said Susie. Mum and Dad jumped back into the car. They were in a hurry now. Danny hated the taste of the rubbish. Mum, he mumbled, I'm going to be sick. Mum took Danny back into the house. Blah, went Danny. He spat all the rubbish down the toilet. Mum wiped his mouth. You need to have something in case you get sick in the car, she said. She looked around the bathroom. Then she gave Danny Susie's pink potty. At last, they drove away. Danny was very cross. He held Susie's potty on his knee. He made faces at Susie. But Susie just smiled. Susie, Teddy, Danny, potty, she said. Soon they arrived at Aunt Auntie Bessie's house. The kitchen was full of smells. Yuck, said Danny. He felt very sick. Danny, cried Auntie Bessie, you look as green as my cabbage. Poor Danny, poor Danny is not well, said Mum. He won't be able to eat any dinner. Auntie Bessie was chopping the cabbage. What a pity, she said. But Danny was delighted. No dinner, he thought. My trick is working. Uncle Tom showed Danny his vegetable patch. I have a little present for you, Danny, he said. I'll give it to you when you're going home. Later, Danny went into the kitchen. Auntie Bessie was stirring the cabbage. I have something for you, Danny, she said. I'll give it to you when you're going home. Danny was having a great time. While everyone was eating, he watched television. What a great sick trick, he giggled. Time for chocolate cake, said Auntie Bessie. Yippee, yelled Danny. I love chocolate cake. Auntie Bessie's chocolate cake was huge. The top was covered in chocolate icing and there, were, there was more chocolate icing in the middle. Danny's mouth was watering. Auntie Bessie cut a huge slice for Mum. She cut a huge slice for Dad. She cut a huge slice for Uncle Tom. She even cut a huge slice for Susie. What about me? said Danny. Dad slowly licked his lips. Sick boys can't eat chocolate cake, he said. Danny was shocked. But he smiled sweetie, sweetly at Auntie Bessie. She'll keep a slice for me, he thought. I know she will. Soon it was time to go home. Auntie Bessie gave Danny a plate covered in tin foil. Take this, dear, she said. You might feel like it later on. Danny hugged her tightly. Thanks, he said. You're the best. Then Uncle Tom gave Danny a big bag. He winked. It's for tomorrow, he said. More chocolate cake, cried Danny. Yum, yum, yum. Danny peeped into the bag. He saw a caterpillar crawling on a green leaf. Cabbage, he yelled. Then Danny lifted the tinfoil on the plate. Dinner, he screamed. There was no chocolate cake. Danny was very cross. Here comes Susie, said Mum. She's got something for you too, Danny. Danny Potty, said Susie.
she threw her potty at Danny. Danny walked slowly to the car. He was carrying the dinner plate, the bag of cabbage and Susie's pink potty. That was a stupid sick trick, Danny said. I'll never do anything like it again. Never, never, never. But I think you will, don't you? Danny's just that kind of kid. That was a great story. Danny's always up to tricks, isn't he? See you next time. Bye for now.